Okay, changing units of uh, measurements. Um, area units, volume units. Basically, you need to think about what does a single unit look like. So, for example, we've got a square meter here and square centimeters. So, if we imagined a square meter is one meter by one meter. So, therefore, if we turn those into centimeters, then we can see that to get a square meter, we'd have done one meter times one meter. That would have given us one square meter. If we change them into centimeters so that we can see what the equivalent is, then we can see that one square meter is actually 10,000 square centimeters. Seven square meters into centimeters squared, square centimeters. And because every one of those is 10,000, then we times by 10,000. So the answer will be 70,000 square centimetres. If we had to do square centimetres to square millimetres, then again we can start with the unit square, one centimetre by one centimetre, and then change it into the other units, so 10 millimetres and 10 millimetres. Then we can see that one square centimetre would be one square centimetre times one centimetre, and in millimetres equivalent, then it would be 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres, so 100 square millimetres. So one square centimetre is the same as 100 square millimetres. So all the time when you're converting units of area and volume, you kind of go to the unit square for area, or the unit cube for volume. So here we've got cubic millimetres to cubic metres. So if we imagine what a cubic metre looks like, it's one metre by one metre by one metre. One metre times one metre times one metre. That's a cubic metre. Well, again, same idea, just turn them into the equivalent units that the question wants. Now this one's dealing with millimetres, so there's a thousand millimetres into every metre. So here then we're doing a thousand times a thousand times a thousand millimeters by millimeters by millimeters. Well that gives you one billion cubic millimeters. So when it says here to turn seventy no seven hundred thousand cubic millimeters into cubic meters, then we have to divide by a billion. So 700,000 divided by a billion. Well, that means we're going to move the 700,000 down nine places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'll end up with 0 0.007. Just check that. Move it down nine places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So zero, zero, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we actually need another zero. <coughs> so it's actually going to be point zero, 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 seven. Check that by going backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places. Yep. So zero point zero zero seven. If I had to do cubic centimeters to millimeters cubed, then again we think of the unit cube. In this case, we're talking about centimeters. So one cubic centimeter would be a centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter. And therefore, we'd end up doing 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. So 10 times 10 times 10, thousand. So one cubic centimeter is the same as 1,000 cubic millimeters. Okay, so that's just a quick run through of how to get the conversion factors 
and then you think about if I'm going from a small unit to a big unit, I divide. If I'm going from a big unit to a small unit, then I end up timesing. So that's a quick review of how to convert units of area and volume.